let's talk about creativity in planning in the planning process, right? So I think so much goes in, you know, people, when they say about planning, they think logistics, but also with planning comes creativity, comes what you're saying, tendy experience and getting creative in your planning process. How do you do that? Where do you come up with ideas, uh, themes, activations, experience? What does your process look like? How do you make your conference memorable, meaningful? Yeah, I mean, I think, again, like a really good starting point is to kind of lean into the location, right? That gives you like an easy way to kind of create an experience. And people are traveling to this event, right? They want to experience the location. I'll give a, a quick example. I did a site visit a couple of years ago at a hotel in Mexico, and it was like an Asian it was an Asian brand. And I felt like I was in Asia. I was like eating Thai food. And I'm like, but I, I want to eat Mexican. Like I'm in Mexico. Right. So like, I want to feel like yeah. I'm in the destination. So again, we were in Frisco, Texas. We really like leaned in to the destination. So our welcome reception, we, we basically created themes for each event. They were all like Western ish. And then we created a lookbook that we sent out in our know before you go email with like visual outfit, inspiration and attire for each evening event. So I think I mentioned before, like our big party was corporate Coachella themed and people like went all in, like people really awesome. leaned in to the themes. Like they put on those bandanas and the cowboy hats and did their hair glitter and like really leaned into it. And so I think, you know, how do you find unique ways to like make events memorable? That's really important. There's so many events out there and there's so many, I mean, Customers of Sixth Sense have a lot of other tech companies that they're, you know, in their portfolio, right? In their tech stack. So why are they going to come to our conference mm -hmm. over another? And so a lot of that is, you know, it's relationships, it's it's brand affinity, but like it's it's experience. And so I think find those ways to bring those unique experiences. And again, it doesn't have to be super expensive, right? It can be like little kind of inexpensive touches throughout, but just try to make it memorable. Amy in the chat said, I love it. She said, we're in Houston. We don't wear as many cowboy hats as you think. I'm sure you don't, Amy. Uh, <laughs> I know. But we I'd have, like to think said, that everyone in Texas is always wearing cowboy yes. <laughs> She says, but we have an optional NASA tour planned, and we sell to the aviation community, and we'll host dinner at a flight museum. Yeah, I mean, that's awesome. It's it's Bethany and I were talking about this earlier. It's easy pickings, and it's so good. Like, if you go somewhere, to her point, as an attendee, she's going to Mexico. So like when you go to Mexico, you're going to pack your bag a certain way, whether it's for work or not, you're going to dress a certain way, you're going to want certain things, you know, so leaning into that, I think super smart, easy to do. And I think it because there's a it's easy, it allows you to get creative from it and do so many cool things.